Hi guys, girl Natalie, the one true diamond coming at you with Friday morning chit chat. It's Friday, I'm on my way to work. I'm trying to look positive, not just about work, but just about in general, different things. And I'm trying to um, channel positivity in my life, trying to stay in a stress-free zone because y'all know with planning my wedding and, you know, it's getting down to the nitty-gritty, like right here, you know. It's coming so close and so soon, and, you know, I need to buckle down. So, you know, I'm just trying to think positive. I'm trying to think positive about my life, about my um, marriage, about um, my weight loss, um, my natural hair. I'm just trying to, mm, and I look like it's a little puff right now. Positivity! <laughs> Thinking positive about it. I'm just trying to do all. I'm just trying to just be a new me. That, well, not a new me because I like me. But I want to improve on me. That's what I want to say. Some improvements on me. Some Just some things. Some things that I can improve on. And so, yeah. Um. I've been doing, y'all know, the counting the calories and everything, and yesterday went really well, I think. Um, I know I should have been eating all my calories, but I did not eat all my calories. But the thing about it is, I was not hungry. Now, I felt myself getting snacky last night, because before I went to bed, I ate some Andy's chocolate mints. And I ate, I said, let me see if that'll cure the sweet taste. And um, I ate, um, I started snacking on some Lay's potato chips. I calculated them, I tracked them all in my thing. I said, I'm gonna track everything that goes in between these lips, and I did. And I still stayed under my calories and like I said not that I was trying to do it because I know it was recommended to eat my calories you know and I would see results so I believe that but I wanted to have like lower calorie breakfast and lunch so that I could have bulk up my dinner which I know that's not a good idea but if I bulk up dinner then I will be full and I won't want to snack at night is what I'm hoping for you know, like, and if I do get snacky, then guess what? I've got these calories I can play with, you know. So, I don't know if I'm looking at that in the right aspect. I probably need to actually, you know, just go and look at more videos on counting calories and what has worked for other people and see if I can tweak it for me. For now, I'm going to do it this way for this first week and see what goes on during the first week. If I have good, positive results, then yay me. Um... My biggest problem is always the weekends. It's always relaxed. It's not structured because during the weekdays, it's like, okay, you know, you got to have breakfast. You're working. You're not thinking about snacking. Your lunchtime, you know, afternoon, I might get a snack. Um, and then you're coming home, dinner, you know, like that. So it's pretty structured. Whereas, um, Whereas it's not as structured in um, over the weekend. I'm sorry, I had to pass that car. It was going that truck. It was going too slow. Uh, where it's not as structured as there. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of eating or not eating or you know, like I might have a breakfast and I don't eat lunch. This is Sundays now. Sundays I don't eat lunch and we go out to dinner. We have a big, like no calorie counting dinner. Then I come home and I might snack later that afternoon while I'm watching TV or something like that. Um, it's kind of how my Sundays go. Saturdays is free range. It's just grazing all day long. So I got to get into the mindset of structure, structure, structure. Like I need to get in the mindset of breakfast. Okay, breakfast. Maybe you can have a midday snack or something like that. And lunch. I got to try to keep some structure over the weekends so that anything that I have done during the week... I don't sabotage it on the weekends. And, you know, I think there's just 
a thing about accountability is getting into that new mindset of it. You know, and another thing, you know, sometimes, you know, this journey, like I said, and I say it all the time, is not easy whatsoever. And a lot of times people start on this journey because of how they feel like other people perceive them or how they want other people to perceive them. But it's very rarely, I'm not going to say it's not successful because I'm sure some have been successful doing that, but it is so much better when you're doing it for you. No matter what other people think about you, whether they find you um, to be in a positive light in their book, you know what I'm saying? You know, some people, they can't see, they want, I don't know how to say it, it's like, because you're struggling, on the journey then sometimes people necessarily look at you as a failure and sometimes we look at ourselves not necessarily people but they were like this girl and I, I guess it comes to them from conversations I heard she's been doing this weight loss thing for how many years and it was one thing this is an example this one girl me and this girl was trying to lose weight before uh, a fellow co-worker had left she left and stayed gone. She just started doing travel nursing. She stayed gone for like a year or so. And she came back and she said, mm, when I left, y'all were trying to lose weight. And I come back, y'all still trying to lose weight. You know, and she said it in a jokingly way. But sometimes people don't appreciate the journey that you are on and know that it is a struggle. It's a challenge, you know. And instead of uplifting everyone, you know, we'd be like, pointing folks out like this and this and this. And yeah, you find people that encourage you, that motivate you, um, that you look at because you know that's your motivation. You say, I see them going hard. But we still shouldn't look down or cross-eyed at the person who is in their struggle mode because that shows to me that even though they're struggling, they're still staying in it you know they're still in it they haven't given up because they could have gave up at the first bump in the road but they did not they got up they dust themselves off and they tried something different this just have not found the right fit for them yet and what i'm saying to someone trying to encourage you as well as myself that and i know i've been on this weight thing weight loss journey a long time even before my gastric bypass surgery I was struggling. Um, my highest recorded weight was 331 pounds, but when I look back at pictures before then, I wasn't weighing then, and I know I weighed more. I know I weighed more than 331. I had to when I look at myself, and I remember, and I don't know if I saved that dress or not, but when I get in the process of moving and going through things, I, I'm going to look for that particular dress because I think I kept some of those things as a reminder. I was wearing a size 36 skirt. You heard me. A size 36 skirt at one point in my life. So when I look at where I am now, yeah, I still call myself Fatty Patty. Yes, I'm still 200 pounds. Um, but guess what? You know, when I get into my size 18s and some 20s, according to how they're made, they're a cheaper brand than I got to go 20. You know, if I go to a more expensive store, I can get into an 18. I look at that and I still hold self-pride. I still look at myself in the mirror and I think, girl, you look good. Even though I do sometimes focus on my areas that I don't like my belly y'all know I'm always talking about my belly I do not like my belly I hate this fat belly you know but I still can look at myself and find some positivity about myself you know I still can look at it and know that it's a work in progress I can look back and say mm, girl that belly ain't as big as it was then you know so I'm saying all this to someone, don't get discouraged, you know, continue on your journey, 
don't let what outside people say. Sometimes you got to have tunnel vision. Sometimes you got to have tunnel vision. Because it don't matter what anybody feel your worth is. You know your worth. You know who you are. And you tell yourself, I am beautiful. I am blessed. You know, I, I got this thing. I, I'm going to win this fight. You know, because it's a fight. It's a fight every single day. Sometimes you look at people that can eat anything and still stay their way. I have a girl that I work with right now. Oh my God. This girl eats constantly all the time. Anything. No calorie counting. None of that kind of stuff. And she still stays the same size. And it's like, wow. What a metabolism. <laughs> but you know, um, and sometimes you look at it and say, oh, I wish I could do that. But you know, you can. And I said all that to say this. Take pride in yourself. Don't worry about what other people think about you, whether they think you're wonderful, marvelous, or what. You think yourself that you are marvelous, you know. I look at myself and I say, girl, you are great. You are something else. I used to have a cousin that would do that, and we would be walking down the street or something like that, and me and my other girlfriend would be laughing at her because we'd be like, Lord, she talking to herself. But sometimes she would say, I'm just going to throw a name out there. It ain't her name. She would say, Susie Smith, you are something else. And now that I think about it, she was motivating herself. She was encouraging herself. She wasn't talking to herself. She was just like, well, she might have been talking to herself, but she was a little off. <laughs> but you got to take that same little bit of thing and you got to turn it around. You got to speak life to yourself. You got to say, girl, you got to find some qualities that are good about you. I am blessed. I am a good mother. I'm a good grandmother. I am a good fiance slash going to be wife. You know, I am a good supporter, a good listener, a hard worker. I have my worth. You know, I have my faith in God. I love God. You know, so you... You just start thinking and naming positive things about you. I would be so glad when we move so I can actually, I want to do me a beauty craft room. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet, but I want to do me one. And I want to be able to put motivational things up there. I want to be able to put me an inspirational board up there. Um, a long time ago, a guy told me that I was working with, he was like, Natalie, you know, because me and him was talking about, I always wanted one of those, um, can't even think what the car was, um, Chryslers, those Chryslers, um, the, the new Chryslers that they have, and I have wanted one of those so bad until my <laughs> size 36 body went, tried to get in one one day with me and my husband, we went, and I was so tight in that little car, I was like, that's not the car for you. Not at the time. I don't even want one now. It's not It's not my dream car now. But when it was, and he said, he had printed me off a picture of one and brought it to me. He said, you take this and put it in your mirror and you clean that thing and you keep um, talking about that thing and saying that, you know, you believe it. That is yours and it'll be yours. But at the time, you know, I understood belief because, you know, I've been in church a long time. I understand belief and faith. I understood it back then. Even back then, I understood it. But I could not believe it, you know. And it could, I think it was a lot of the things I was going through, um, just depressed, um, going through a bad marriage. And I just couldn't see myself having any worth. But if you saw me, you would never know that because I never carried myself like that. It was always inwardly. But never feeling worth, never feeling like I deserved anything better than what I was getting at that time. Because that's where I felt like I was in a slump. You know, I felt stuck. But you know, and I just thank God now I can just look at my life and I say, God, thank you. I thank you. You know, I held on and I, you know, can I have better? Yes. But I'm at a happy place in my life. Do I have top of the line things? No. <laughs> Do I have what my heart desires? Yes. At this moment. And it's not because I can't think of anything else. 
or because you know I you know what I'm saying I could think of a lot of different things I want you know I, I could you know I could want the mansion in the sky the bank account full of money but you know sometimes you know we have to learn to be content in whatever state we are in and I believe with that contentment and you taking pride in where you are and what you have then I believe that the blessings of God will flow upon you because you know how to appreciate what it is that God has given you and I hope I'm making sense to someone and not confusing you Everybody wants better. I want better than what I have, but I am happy with what I have. I'm happy with what God has blessed me with because I know that gives me faith when I can look back from where I came from to where I am now, then I know God can bless me with even greater. So I'm content where I am because, and I know some people say, how can you be content? How can you be? That's complacent. No, it's not complacent. It means that I am happy i appreciate i'm appreciative of where god has brought me to and you know i'm looking for higher heights and deeper depths within god within my life you know right now i am at one of the happiest places i can say i have been in my life do Derek get on my nerves sometimes yeah <laughs> do i get on his nerves sometimes yes <laughs> because we are human we are flesh we have different personalities sometimes we just click but clash bump heads sometimes but you know i could not have been blessed with a better mate than what god have blessed me with at this time i could not you know i just could not and sometimes you have to wait for things and sometimes we want to just run and jump and I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Like me, I didn't want to wait. I've done so much diving and digging and trying to find on my own. And I didn't wait for God to reveal his full plan for me, for my life. You know, so I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying all this this morning. I just felt in my spirit. Y'all know how I am. When something hits in my spirit, I have to let it release it out, okay? <laughs> I have to share because maybe somebody will watch this that it can help encourage and motivate somebody. You know, you just got to learn to not sit and think about your negatives and think about your positives and push forward, you know. But like I said, when I get there, I'm going to find a space just for me. Um, I already know the room I want to do it in. But that's the room also I'm, I'm thinking about I'm having to put my um, workout equipment in and it's not that big of a size room so I don't know if all of that stuff is going to fit in there but I'm going to try my hardest to make one side my workout room and the other side is going to be um, my beauty slash craft slash inspiration room my pretty much going to be my YouTube room hopefully you know I can turn it into that without it being too jumped up or anything like that so that's my plans and yeah and I'm going to start doing more videos more inspirational videos once we get in and we get settled you know and get things like you know we want it I'm going to you know start doing a little bit more inspirational videos focusing more on my channel trying to revamp it do something um, a little bit new to it you know I need to bring some life to my channel um, because really I started out YouTube just trying to vlog my hair my natural hair journey and then it branched into weight loss journey but now I feel like I want to be able to motivate and encourage and uplift somebody sometimes people in the strangest way you know they come looking for something and I would love for my channel to be that channel that they come to to find that inspiration to find that encouragement to find that motivation that no matter you know what this woman has been through she has persevered and she has stayed and she has stuck with it so I'm sorry guys I talked so long I didn't mean to talk this long but I just wanted to get this out here but I appreciate you guys every one of you whom 
follow me, who continue to watch my videos, for every word of encouragement that you guys leave, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate that y'all coming by to look at little old me and staying with it and listening to little old me. So, I just thank you. I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed Friday. And as always, what we're going to do, we're going to give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking us up this morning, starting us on our way, giving us another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to be able to get it right. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.